In this video, I'm going to go over the memcar function in C. So the memcar function is going to find the first occurrence of a character in a character array. The function is defined inside the string.h library. So the first thing we'll do is include that library. Then we'll make an array of characters. We'll say car data is equal to, and we'll put in Q, R, S, T, P, A, and X. Now to call the function, we'll say memcar, Data is going to be the first argument. The next argument is going to be the character we're going to try to find. So we'll say here T. And then the next argument is how far in to the character array to look. So if I said seven here, the function is going to look seven characters deep into the character array. If I said four, it would look four characters deep and we'd go up to T here. We'll put it back to seven. The function is going to return a pointer to the first occurrence of this character in the character array. So here I'll say car star POS. And what it should do is give us a pointer to this position in the character array. So if I were to print out POS at index zero, I would expect to output T. And if I were to output POS at index one, I would expect to output P. So let's try that out. Here we'll say printf POS at index zero is equal to percent C slash N and we'll output POS at index zero. Then we'll say printf POS at index one is equal to percent C slash N and we'll output POS at index one. So we'll save this here and run it and we should get T and P as output. And that's exactly what we get here is POS at zero is T, POS at one is P. So that's how the function works normally. Now there are some other cases we should talk about. What if the character is not found? So for example, what if we look for the character Z? Z is not in this character array here. What's gonna happen is the function is gonna return null in that case. And we could check for that. We could say here, if POS is equal to null, we'll printf character not found. Otherwise, we'll printf our regular output. So if we save this here and run it, we should get character not found. And that's what we get. The other thing that could happen is that the character is in the character array, but it's not found because it's not within this amount of characters specified here. So for example, we could try to find the character A, and that is in the character array right here. But if we only searched four characters deep into the array, then in that case, we wouldn't find it there. It occurs six characters into the array. So if we save this here and run it, we'll also get character not found, despite the fact that the character is in the array because it doesn't occur soon enough in the array. Now an obvious use case for the memcar function is when we're working with strings, because strings in C are stored in character arrays. So for example, let's say we've got a string like this, car str is equal to John Smith at microsoft.com. And let's say, for example, we want to find the domain of an email address, and we know that's going to occur after the at symbol. We could very easily find that with the memcar function. So here we could say car star domain is equal to memcar str at, and then we'll say str len str. So we're going to search up to the length of the string using the str len function that finds the length of the string. And we'll get back a pointer to the first occurrence of that at character in this string here. So let's try to print that out. We'll say printf domain percent s slash n, and we'll put the domain. So then if we save this here now and run it, we should get at microsoft.com as our domain output. And we do, we get domain at microsoft.com. If we wanted to chop off that at symbol there, we could just increment the domain by one. So here I'll just say domain plus plus, and we'll just chop off that at symbol there. So we save this here and run it. And now we just get Microsoft.com. That's how you can use the memcar function in C to find the first occurrence of a character in a character array. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.